Jupiter's great red spot may have been around since long before the dawn of astronomy, and it looks like it will exist forever. But how can it live so long when the biggest storms on Earth last for only a few days? At the University of Washington in Seattle, professor of atmospheric sciences Peter Rines thinks the answer lies in a bowl of water, a model of Jupiter's atmosphere, where he will attempt to create a great red spot. OK, take it up. OK. Going to Jupiter, going to the outer planets, you've got gas atmospheres. They're doing almost the same things as a bowl of water spinning on this table. So we can actually build a planet or a half a planet right here in the lab. The first step is to get the right shape, a hemisphere or half a planet. OK, let's go up to 3.4, see if we could make it more like Jupiter. Jupiter spins two and a half times faster than the Earth. One of the remarkable things about this, this new substance you make when you take ordinary, ordinary gases, ordinary waters, and spin them, is that they start organizing. And I think we, we've grown up in a world where moving your hand through a fluid makes just incredible chaos and complexity and little whirlies that you can't understand. If you go to this rotating world, the spinning fast world, you'll find that it's organized. There's order coming out of chaos. The dye forms rings in the water, just like the rings around the planet. But they need to disturb it to try to make storms. Peter thought about why storms might exist in the first place and realized that Jupiter and the Earth have much in common. On Earth, the biggest storms we have are hurricanes our closest equivalents to the great red spot. A